G'day, g'day. I'm Pitbull and Art, and this is Australian Guy Films. Welcome back. So, I put an opinion video online this week, and it got quite a lot of uh, views and some support, and uh, some not so much support. And my video this time is, again, just my opinion. So, the arguments I'm coming across in my last video, and my last video was about freedom of speech and how. I'm told to shut up, I'm Australian, i am got no skin in the game, I shouldn't have an opinion. I'm a citizen of the world, I'm a member of the free world, and therefore, guys, I do get an opinion. Um, and my opinion today is about the argument style of the people supporting Trump. Um, I'm coming across some very argumentative people, and um, a few of the arguments that I... I'd like to talk about today is, uh, first of all, kids in cages. The argument that comes back to me is, well, Obama did it, and Bush did it before him, and Trump's just doing what they did. Well, that's like a couple of kids in the back seat saying, he looked at me, he looked at me first, he touched me, he touched me first. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who did what first. There's kids tonight sleeping on concrete floors in cages, um, many of them don't understand what the guards are screaming at them. Many of them can't tell anybody what's wrong. Um, most, if not all, have no idea if they're ever going to see their family again. Um, they don't know that their parents were sent back across the border. Uh, what justification America has for keeping those kids in cages, I I'm not quite sure. Um, if you're going to keep them away from their family, then put them with another family, foster care. Um, put them in anything except a cage. Uh, I wouldn't let you put my dog in a cage for anything. Um, and damn straight, I would bring my kids with me if I was looking for a better life and I was in a country that was dangerous and violent. I wouldn't leave them behind. Uh, as somebody who's crossed 45 countries' borders, I can say the only reason I'm let into any of these countries is because Australia is written on the front of my passport, not because I'm a decent human being, not because I have any money, not because I'm a respectable or responsible person. I, I would beg to differ on all of those facts. Um, I'm just a dirty hippie traveling the world quite freely because I'm privileged enough to have Australia written across the front of my passport. Um, it's almost like the rules don't apply to some people, and I'm happy to say I'm one of those people. I'm ashamed to say that that system even exists. Would I oppose that system? Damn straight I would. Um, how could you oppose that system? By treating everybody, everybody on the planet fairly. Because America has freedom of speech written into their constitution. They believe that nobody else is allowed to have an opinion. That's not quite true. Um, we can have an opinion on anything we damn well want, and I'm going to exercise that right. And I challenge anybody with a badge or with a gun or with any form of authority to try and stop me. Um, in the 21st century, who can stop me and why? What would be their justification? Uh, because I'm not an American, I'm not allowed to have an opinion, I'm sorry. American politics has an effect on the entire planet, especially when you have somebody in power who's not really looking at the world as a whole. He's looking at his own bank balance. Um, the other thing that I find about Americans arguing for Trump is they can't stay on topic. Uh, they immediately go to name-calling, uh, I've been called some <laughs> really funny names. I've got to admit, some of you are not very uh, imaginative when you start calling people names. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised your mama jokes haven't come out a lot earlier in conversations with some of these people because uh, they really don't actually know about the topic they're arguing about. All they do is, like a couple of kids in the back seat of a car, they start throwing insults. They start turning it around and saying, well, what about what you did? And they start just making stuff up. Um, they have no real idea of what the topic is that they're arguing about. And the argument that a parent crosses a border illegally and therefore should be separated from their children and their children should be locked in a cage, I'm sorry, but 
um, you can do a whole lot worse in America and not end up in a cage. So I have to ask, why is crossing an imaginary line without a piece of paper? Um, why is that worthy of putting a child in a cage? And for those of you that try and defend children in cages, for whatever reason, um, then I, I, you have no defensible position. Putting a child in a cage is... You just can't do that. Um, you cannot do that. And that has to stop, and that has to stop now. And the people in America who are silently um, sitting back and disagreeing with it silently, I'm sorry, but many of you have to come out on the streets and say, this is not right, this has to stop, this has to stop now. Uh, please share this video. I really like it when the alt-right, when the crazy people respond to this with negative comments because most of them... Um, they need to be outed for what they are, um, either just ignorant or out and out racist. And if me having an opinion um, is the catalyst needed for these people to come out into the open, um, this time round for the American Civil War II, um, there's no masks on the KKK. They need to come out with their faces in full public view because at the end of this, you need to know who is and who isn't on the side of humanity. Um, that's the end of this video. It is just my opinion, and you're welcome to tell me to go stick it. Um, if you like this video or you agree with what I've got to say, then please share this video. Um, share it to places where people are not going to agree. Let's get this conversation out in the open. Let's make these people uh, stand for what they believe in openly. Uh, none of this closed-door racism because that's more scary to me than a racist standing in front of me claiming to be a racist. At least then I know who I'm talking to, how to deal with them, and uh, um, what the end result's going to be. And when the racists take over, we know the end result is not going to be good for anybody. That's my opinion, and uh, this is Pitbull and Art, the Australian guy, saying goodnight from... Portugal.